uh, really, you know, the support that we, we hope to gather for GCF's efforts uh, in South Africa is uh, working with the population, trying to get them as, as educated as possible, getting them the resources, uh, getting them the tools necessary, and then accompanying that with adequate training. Um, that's biggest. That's probably the biggest thing that we could hope for. Um, that's kind of like the limelight of what we're trying to do. And uh, all of that comes from the direct support of people that we know, that we talk to. A lot of the efforts that we're doing in South Africa pay dividends to conservation of wildlife, uh, specifically the rhino population there. My name is Marcus Chichilli. Uh, I'm a Marine of 12 years of, of military experience. Um, I have deployed to combat zones such as Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, my primary job serving as a Marine for 12 years uh, was being in the infantry. Um, that meant we did a lot of the ground fighting. Um, so I definitely have a lot of skills and, and expertise uh, when it comes to um, you know combat the, the combat environment itself. Um, the biggest thing that, that captivated me when joining GCF was uh, being able to transfer my skills uh, from the military into a setting where it could be uh, better used uh, as well as uh, um, my own experiences uh, really kind of just coming together. Conservation to me really transpired into something completely different. Uh, you know, being in the infantry as a United States Marine, um, the, the end mission was to always go out and eliminate our enemy. Uh, kill the enemy, you know, basically try to um, prevent any bodily harm to any of the brothers that we were serving alongside. Uh, conservation is really the flip side to that coin. It's about the preservation of life. And so taking, you know, my experience um, in combat and being able to um, transfer that information effectively into conservation, it's been something that hasn't necessarily been difficult, but um, it's been something that's been very, like, near and true to my heart. Uh, when we learn the concepts of, of being in the military, when we learn the concepts of being um, in combat, a lot of that isn't really trans, uh, you know, you can't transfer a lot of those experiences and knowledges into the civilian sector. Um, being able to transfer some of the survival skills and some of uh, what made us effective um, as a team to other rangers who are basically going to take all of that knowledge and experience um, really helps them set themselves up for success. Uh, really, this project that we're, uh, we're about to take a part of is an effort to give these guys some really good quality training, uh, set them above the standard when it comes to uh, doing some basic things like patrolling, uh, taking their intelligence uh, to the best of their abilities, turning them into mission-capable success, and uh, really trying to incorporate a lot of what we're doing here in the U.S., but giving them the tools, the resources, and the education, uh, and again, accompanying that with some really good high-quality training.